Welcome back. This is the fifth in a series of lessons on using uh, Gemray, the test version of Gemray, to design to optimize a faceted gemstone. We're looking at ray tracing. Let me open up a design here that I've been working on. It's a checkerboard oval design. The, the crown is a checkerboard. The pavilion is an omni type pavilion. And uh, you can tell by looking whether a design is omni or not if these brake facets line up in a line with the if these edges are, are straight, if this edge is in line with that one. So let me close this and uh, let's open up two copies of this in Gemray test. So there's the first one and here is the second one. Okay, the second one, I'm going to use Gemray's automatic angle optimization feature here. You'll notice these boxes down here. This, all of these boxes relate to the angle optimization. If I, uh, the old crown angle is, is the angle of the largest crown facet is viewed from the top, but not the table. This design doesn't have a table, so that's not an issue. The pavilion angle is the lowest pavilion angle on the stone. Usually that'll be the culet angle, but not always, not, not necessarily. And uh, Jim Ray picks those automatically from the file. And you can see that uh, the new angle is exactly the same. If I instead change, put in it, I can type in a different angle here and run that to see what it'll do. So on the right we have a 43 pavilion versus the other pavilion on the left. I can't remember what the angle was. So you could quickly do some what-if studies by changing the angle. You'll notice the scale fa factor changes the same. The scale factor is the ratio of the tangents of these two angles. And it's the axis by which the crown is the crown coordinates are multiplied. So let's use Jim Ray's automatic opt angle optimization and see what happens here. It's always a good idea to repeat this process a few times. Jim Ray can, can uh, converge on a local maximum in the, in the merit function. The merit function is only used for uh, relative comparison. Uh, it's really not good for comparing one gemstone to another, so it's not a brightness index or anything like that. It depends somewhat on the numbers you, you type in the, in the optimization. So let's see what Jim Ray has done for us here. Okay, you'll, you might notice that the face-up brightness here, let me pause it close to face up and see if I can get frame 30 here. Uh, this design has considerable head shadow around here and this one the head shadow is mostly on the perimeter so I'd say that's a, a good improvement. Overall brightness in the center is up from 23 to about 35 so that's that's a good improvement. You can see there are tilt angles that were much better for for the other design, but just overall, this is more better average performance. <laughs> I'd like to repeat this optimization. I've done this before. You might, let me start back with one. If you ever get lost, figure out, can't figure out what angles you put in, you can put one and you're back to the original angles. If I just run this optimization once, uh, it actually converges to a different answer. It, it's raised the pavilion. And uh, let's let's look at those results. And that's not significantly different. It's a little bit different. Uh, you might... You know, it's really not bad. It's 33. We were up to 35 with the other design. But the center brightness is rather dim as compared to this image. So let me pause. 
So there's not just one perfect answer always uh, for the choice of angles. This is a different compromise. This is dull in the center and bright around the outside. But as far as the numbers, it, it's it's better than the the one on the right's better than the left. But um, so it is important sometimes to keep clicking on here, and, and Jim Ray will keep looking and find you a better answer sometimes. Another point is it's often, sometimes you want face good face-up brilliance at the expense of everything else. You don't care anything at all about anything but face-up brilliance. So let's say that I want good ISO face-up brilliance. I've got my 10 degree health head shadow in here, and I just want the brightest face-up design. I don't care what it does for tilt. I've got a fast computer here. So let's just click the go button. In general, you'll find that what I just did is quicker than um, typing in zero for all these other numbers. Another thing to note is there's only one, all these numbers are for face up and all these are for tilted. Uh, if you're only interested in face up and you have a slower computer, you might want to leave the increment the same but set your maximum tilt angle to zero. And that'll actually speed up the processing considerably. It doesn't really show here, but uh, and also you see that didn't change the answer that it had at, at all from the previous case. So there, there's ways to, you know, it's, it's if you don't have the fastest computer in the world, it, you could still get quick turnaround by using some of these tricks. Okay, that's enough on that design. We'll look at a different design in our next tutorial.